Hey everyone, follow Myth, bringing you a guide on making a fertilizer and jet farm, so let's get started. Jet is one of the most popular camps in Fallout 4, and it's also very cheap to craft, only needing two fertilizer and one plastic per unit. It sells for 40 to 50 caps each, with the right amount of charisma, which is way higher than selling poison cold traps or purified water. Our main focus will be to get a steady flow of fertilizer. Plastic on the other hand is very abundant and very easy to get. Brahmins produce one fertilizer unit per day, so we want to get as many Brahmins cramped in here as possible. And there are several ways to get them. The passive way most of us end up with Brahmins without trying is through the recruitment beacon. There is a chance one of your settlers end up being a Brahmin because apparently Brahmins can pick up radio signals. They can also show up randomly in your settlement. Contrary to what most people think, the Brahmin feeders don't actually lure new Brahmin to your base. Each feeder is enough for two Brahmin and it keeps them in the area where you set them up. Without them, your Brahmin will roam randomly in your settlement. And this, unfortunately, doesn't work with the Brahmin caravans. Now to actively get Brahmin, you can set up Brahmin cages if you have the Wasteland Workshop DLC. The cost to set up one of these cages for the first time is 16 steel, 4 razor grain, 4 copper, and 4 gear. You'll need one of each every time you reset your cage trap. Occasionally, cages will stop functioning properly and fail to trap anything. Typically after a settlement attack or a long in-game period has gone without checking it. The only known fix is to remove the cage and replace it while also hooking it up to an entirely new power source. The cage must be supplied with power and it doesn't count against the settlement supply, similar to indoor lightning. Leave it alone for some time, sleeping in a bed or leaving the settlement will eventually result in the cage's door closing. Shutting off the power, scrapping the cable connection, or hitting the cage door with a melee attack will then open the cage and release the Brahmin trapped inside. Lastly, you can buy them through Kelly. She's a random encounter across the Commonwealth. Typically, she can be found around the Drumlin Diner or the Greentown Nursery settlement. She'll sell you a Brahmin for 100 caps and the price is non-negotiable. On this character, Kelly glitched against a cliff near the Drumlin Diner, so I've been very lucky and I've been able to buy one every 24 hours just to speed up the process. Now make sure you have a good amount of space to house all these cattle because they'll get on top of each other and then this will happen. They'll also wander outside the fence and in hindsight, I should have made it more spacious, but I already spent so much time setting this up. I've gotten a total of 12 Brahmin for now, so I'll be getting a small and steady flow of fertilizer. While you slowly operate your Brahmin farm, you can supplement your fertilizer production yeah, by buying boy. shipments from Connie at Avernati Farm. She has around 50 for sale. Supervisor Green at Great Garden sells 50 as well. Myrna and Percy in Diamond City sell 25 each for a total of 50 and finally Daniel at Finch Farm sells 25. You can buy a total of 175 fertilizers every 48 hours which is how long the merchants take to resupply. Now that we've got a good amount of Brahmin, fertilizer and plastic, we can start crafting them in the camp station. The person who buys them for the most caps is Bobby at Vault 81. He'll pay you 75 and the price is non-negotiable. The downside is he buys one at a time and you have to go through his dialogue every single time. This won't work if you've already helped him get clean. Dr. Penske in Vault 81 will also buy a fertilizer for 25 caps each. She's rather glitchy and there's a good chance you won't be able to sell to her anyway. The game checks her inventory for a bag of fertilizer. If the game doesn't detect the fertilizer in her inventory, she'll never initiate the correct dialogue and buy it all from you. You can reverse pickpocket and put a bag of fertilizer or use a console command to put one in. 
Still, this isn't a guaranteed fix. As you can see, she's still bugged going through the transaction, but my caps and fertilizer remain the same. And if you've already cleared Vault 81, she'll stop buying fertilizer from you. Otherwise, fertilizer sells like literal crap for one cap each. The practical way of making money with this farm is by selling jet through merchants across the commonwealth. You can also upgrade your jet to jet fuel. You will need flamer fuel and it'll sell for an extra 10 to 20 caps, depending on your charisma. Not many vendors sell this ammo, so it's more of a hassle to make, to be honest. Nevertheless, you can buy them from Percy and Arturo in Diamond City, Rufus and Cleo in Good Neighbor, and numerous Mr. Handys across the General Atomics Galleria. Saga's Iron Works has a bunch of flamer fuel if you haven't cleared that area as well. All in all, it's not overly complicated to set up one of these farms. It does take time, but it's another way to diversify your cap's income. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.